here's how to create a Halloween video invitation for your Halloween party just like this. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how this Halloween video invitation was created. But if you need to save time, you don't have to start from scratch. Use our pre-made Halloween template by clicking on the link in the description of this video. You'll then log into your ClipChamp account or create one for free. And then you'll be taken straight into the ClipChamp editor where this ready to use Halloween invite template will be preloaded for you. If you're starting from scratch, the first thing you'll need to do is add your background media by using our Halloween stock footage. Navigate over to the toolbar and click on the content library button. Then select the drop down arrow of the visuals button. Click into videos, and now in the search bar, use Halloween themed keywords to search through all of the content options available. You can hover over the assets for a bit of a preview, and then when you found the one you want to use, drag and drop it straight into your timeline. The next step is to add in your event information by navigating to the toolbar and selecting the text tab. Now browse through all of our text animation options. You can hover over each option for a preview. For more of a Halloween theme, you could use the options such as glitch, smoke, or typewriter text, but you can use anything you'd like. Once you've found the text you want to use, just drag and drop it into the timeline above your video asset. Then you'll navigate over to the property panel and click on the text button. Now you can go ahead and customize the text. In this text box, you'll type out what you want the text to say. For example, this is the beginning of our invite, so I'll say you're invited to. Now here, select any font you'd like by browsing through all of our font options. When you found the one you want, just click it to action the change. You can change the size of the text with the size slider here, and you can change the color over here in the primary colors button. You can also set a background color if you'd like, but for this text, we'll just leave it off. Now you'll finish adding all of your event information in by copying and pasting the text tab. Just click Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or right click the text tab and hit duplicate. Then follow the same steps as before by navigating over to the property panel and adjusting what the text says over here in the text box. You'll do this for each of the text tabs that you include. And once you're done adding in all of your text tabs and event information, your invitation will look something like this to begin with. Next, add some Halloween themed music to your invitation by navigating over to the toolbar and clicking into the content library tab. Now click the drop down arrow of the audio button and select music. Use the search bar here to browse the music library by again using keywords such as Halloween. You can preview each track by clicking on the play button here. Then when you found the one that you want to use, drag and drop the audio file into your timeline below your other assets. You can edit the volume of the track by navigating over to the property panel, clicking on the audio button, and then using the volume slider to adjust the audio. The very last thing you could do is add some fun Halloween themed stickers to your invitation. By navigating to the property panel, clicking into the content library tab, then click the drop down arrow of the visuals tab and select stickers. Now in the search bar, browse the Halloween themed content by again using Halloween themed keywords. When you found the sticker that you want, drag and drop it into the timeline above your video asset. Now you can use the freehand tool to move the sticker any way you'd like to appear on the screen. You can then also resize it if you'd like to. If you want it to appear more than once, just copy and paste that sticker. And then again, use the freehand tool to move the second sticker into place. If you're going to be using the pre-made template, all you'll have to do once you're inside the editor is change the information of the invitation by clicking on the preloaded text tabs, navigating to the text tab in the property panel, and then just adjusting the text to customize it to your own party information. Lastly, to export your video, head over to the export button and select your video quality. Then once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will save to your device all ready for you to share. To give it a go, just click on the remixable link in the description of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.